What's happening everybody? Boy Big Brando and today we're going to be knocking out an order using super color transfers. Now just a little backstory how this order came about was the homie Bill hit me up. He shot me some artwork that one of his friends made for him and he asked can we make some shirts and hoodies out of these designs. Now the design was multicolored. There's a little license plate for the front left chest print and then it was a big license plate and a complete illustration of a car on the back. So I knew exactly what transfer company I was going to be using, which was super colored. I did a four inch hit on the front and then the back was, I believe, 11 by 7 by 11 by 7 or something like that. And Bill wanted gray shirts, white shirts, black shirts and black hoodies. So on a Monday morning, I placed the order with super color on Wednesday. That job was done. I went and picked it up and now we're here pressing. So I'm going to take the camera bring it into the other room start pressing up some of these shirts let you guys see exactly what i'm doing all right we're going to be using old style 1701 t-shirts i'm laying the t-shirt all the way over collar laying over the edge this is how i center up my t-shirts i pull the points of the armpits straight down try to balance it out see if it feels even pre-press get the moisture out flatten out the t-shirt this first press right here is going to be a left chest print right over the heart I'm gonna go four fingers down from the edge of the press where the collar lays over four fingers down that's about three three and a half inches then I'm gonna use this point in the collar I put a little piece of tape right here just to show me where the point of the collar is straight down four fingers from there is where I'm gonna lay the middle of the transfer boom so hopefully you could see there's the point of the collar straight down four fingers down is where I'm laying that this is a Teflon sheet held on with refrigerator magnet clips you could buy these things on Amazon Walmart Target wherever hot peel and then we're gonna press it one more time per super colors instructions Hot peel and then press it again. I press it for the full 16 seconds all over again. Maybe you only need five seconds, but I do it for 16. Front's done. Let's do the back. Now, once again, I lay the front collar all the way over the press so it's nice and flat. Pull the armpits down. Make sure it feels even. Here's the back print. What I like to do for the back prints is I don't do four fingers or anything like that. I try to get it as close to the top as possible. Because you got to remember, a lot of people always want to put their design right up on the collar. But when it's actually worn, it looks pretty funny. So you got to remember where the shoulders land and how the shirt's going to be worn on the body. So I usually go down maybe one or two fingers if I was going to be measuring. I just eyeball it. Make sure it's centered up. On the bottom of this plate right here, I put a piece of tape where the center is. I put a piece of tape where the left chest uh, alignment is also. Makes it easier for myself. Press is set at 321 for 16 seconds. And I set my pressure to heavy. On the sure pressure knob, it's at 53. Hot peel. And then repress it again. So once again, heavy pressure, sure pressure knob. I have it cranked to 53, which is maxed out. And we're done. Back print front print we'll run it again I'll also add in some video clips of me pressing the other shirts to me it seems like it gets pretty boring but I know a lot of people always want to see what the production looks like and it's the same every time pre-press take the moisture out flatten out the shirt four fingers down from the peak in the collar remember I have this little piece of tape right here to make it easier for myself Three twenty one sixteen seconds. Hot 
hot peel. And then we're gonna press it in again. If I'm not holding this, let me show you what it looks like when it auto opens and pops open. Shit's pretty aggressive. Keep my hand on here to override that auto open part so it don't pop open as aggressive. Hot peel. Alright, t-shirts are done. Now we're going to start doing some of these hoodies. This time we're using some Hanes hoodies for this customer. Perfect sweat Hanes. This is extra large. This is what the little ropes or the drawstrings look like. They're the flat ones. It's just sewn off on the edge. I'm guessing this is like a heavyweight hoodie. Maybe a midweight. This is how I do it. So I'll when I'm pressing on t-shirts, I max it out at 53. That's the max pressure for t-shirts. So whenever I'm pressing hoodies, I bring it down to 45. 45 is max for hoodies on this press. That's using the shirt pressure knob on this Heat Press Nation Signature Pro Press. So I like to make sure that the strings are tucked back so it's not laying in here and I'm gonna mess up the press. And I also like to fold the hoodie in. So when I push the drawer in, the hoodie falls underneath the drawer, just like that. Pre-press. Flattens it out, gets the moisture out. Left chest print, four fingers down. Same exact rules, nothing changes. Straight down. Hot peel, repress. Front's done, let's do the back. Same exact thing, lay everything over the edge. Make sure those strings aren't underneath the hoodie. You want a nice, flat, even space to press on. So when I'm pressing hoodies, I like to come down a bit because you got to remember the hood's going to be laying down on the back when it's not when the hood's not on the head, and it's going to be covering some of the design. You don't want it too low where it just looks really uneven, but I like to bring it down a tad from the collar just to make sure that the design can still be seen when the hood is flopped down. Alright, there you have it. Showed you guys how to press up super color transfers on t-shirts and on hoodies. Some of the tips and tricks that I like to use in production when I'm pressing these things up. And if you were looking for a heat press just like mine or maybe one that fits your budget, check the link in the description box or if you were looking to order your own super color transfers, check the links in the description box. Alright, if you guys got any questions, leave it in the comments or follow me on Instagram, Big Brando TV. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yep. Yeah.